All right, guys, we're going to show you some chrome molly tubing. A lot of you guys putting roll cages in. Hey, this thing is fantastic. A lot of you aircraft guys putting these kit airplanes together. Now, this right here is about a 1 8 thick, so I'm using my number one tip. You know, you're right on the line between the one and the two. Always take the smaller tip. That way you don't burn a hole in it. If, that, if you think that that's not hot enough, you can always go up. But if you go up to a bigger tip, then you end up blowing holes. It's a little more difficult. All right, so our number one tip, I'm going to run that flame out there a little bit. I'm using a 332nd steel rod. A lot of chrome molly rods you can get at your welding supply house. they got different numbers and stuff from different companies. They all work great. Now, if you're doing 063, where this is 1 8 inch, you know, about 125 wall thickness, if you go down to the 063 or less, you don't have to do much preheating at all. It's never... It, it's, it's always good to preheat and postheat, but 063 under is not as critical right here. All right, so as far as your, uh, as far as your chrome molly tubing, you always want to go in and preheat it at least 300 degrees. So we're going to cut the heat up right here a little bit. Especially if, you, if you're used to getting cluster joints. Sometimes you're doing a rosette well, you know, tubing inside of another one. So always preheat at least 300 degrees on that chrome molly tubing. You want to preheat, postheat. Stress relieve it. All right, now what we're going to do, we've already got it tacked up. You would go in and tack it up real well. Just going to show you a small well. Take that cone down, get it where it's molten. All right, now right here on that chrome molly tubing, I have a tendency to do a little bit more of a circular motion because you want to make sure that you get both of those pieces tied together. Now you can see how nice that it, that it actually controls that flame. Remember that flame being that soft and that concentrated. You have absolute total control. All right, so you're just working that puddle a little bit. A lot of you guys at TIG well, you know, you're just working that, just like working that cup. Now you can actually just sort of hold a rod down in there for you guys just getting started and just work that circular motion around that rod right there. It's a little bit easier. Remember that flame's very concentrated, so tie it in and just work it all the way around it. Just come back and post-heat it. That's all you gotta do, guys.